hello smoking and hair loss smoking and transplantation does it affect hair growth does it affect result these are common issues to explain this i am here dr vikram ram mysore dermatologist and hair transplant surgeon venkat center for skin ent and plastic surgery vijayanagar banshankri and bangalore smoking is injurious for health we all are aware of it everywhere advertisements notices are screaming at us but still people smoke smoking injurious for health heart brain in every possible way cancer and it is also injurious to hair so i will now talk to you about smoking and hair and smoking and transplant smoking affects hair growth how one smoking nicotine decreases the multiplication of cells in the hair the hair root cells are amongst the most rapidly multiplying cells in the all of the body so smoking will decrease it smoking decreases blood supply these multiplying cells need a lot of blood supply they need oxygen and so if they don't get enough oxygen they will not grow properly three smoking decreases immunity decreases healing promotes infection these things will affect transplantation now for example in transplantation in the donor area once the hairs have been taken out the skin cells have to multiply and close so if they cannot multiply then the wound healing will be affected because there is reduced immunity and wound healing wound healing is not proper there can be infection of the wound scar can be wider likewise in the recipient area smoking patients have more bleeding bleeding leads to popping of grafts putting hairs becomes more difficult this will affect result again after the surgery there is possibility of infection there is possibility of swelling and the hair growth may be delayed so the advice given to every hair loss patient is please stop smoking if not for your heart stop smoking for your hair choose between your hair and smoking like cardiologist will tell you choose between your heart and smoking and smoking stop it not just for one day two days continuously forever smoking stopping doesn't mean reduction in smoking you have to make it zero so every hair loss patient is given this advice otherwise result will be affected hair transplant patients they are most vulnerable soon after transplantation it takes 5 days for them to develop their own blood supply and take root if at that time you smoke then the growth will be affected onset of growth which starts at 3 or 4 months will be delayed full result is up so for these reasons you must stop smoking and there is one more rare complications in smoking called wound dehiscence or necrosis of the skin because of decreased blood supply the center part of the scalp undergoes ulceration it will take months to heal it will heal with a big scar fortunately we have never had that complication same thing can happen in the donor area it will become an ugly scar which will need other treatment so for all these reasons stop smoking at least 10 to 12 or 15 days before transplantation sometimes patients find it very difficult to stop smoking because they have developed dependence we had one patient who said he had stopped smoking but during the surgery he was irritable he was fidgety he couldn't lie down in one position ultimately i said do you really want to smoke he went and smoked a cigarette and came we interrupted our surgery for that purpose. this is not correct so take it seriously as soon as you start thinking of transplantation stop it because it is going to take time you will not be able to stop it just like that so our sincere advice to all those patients with hair loss whether you plan transplantation or not is to quit smoking it will help your health 
it will help your hair it will help your longevity and those who plan transplant stop smoking immediately completely totally entirely not even one cigarette this is very very important i hope you have liked this video if you have liked it share it if you wish to have more topics like this please inform us visit our website www.venkatcenter.com take care be safe